Okay, so what we basically started out with doing uh, was Java. I've done Java on my machine before, but as we realized, everything is working until you do a Java update. So we kind of decided to move on from that idea and second away Android because it didn't really work for any of us. And we ended up doing something in Node. And so here we are, we are chilling like a villain. Um, ever woken up in the morning felt like, oh, my day yesterday was a bit boring. I want a bit of a lifestyle change. So how about becoming a gangster? And we build a tool like that because most people might not know the industry, they might not know where to go, what's the best place to burger the house, um, or what's the best place to get a driver to get you away from there. Um, so Kate's now gonna show you what we actually built. So what we did is we set up Google Maps and then we overlaid the UK police data over the top of it, and then used a heat map to find out where the uh, highest percentage of unsolved crimes were in the country, or in the Midlands for, in this case. Um, and then like what you can do is you can go to like the middle of Birmingham and say there's a lot of unsolved crimes in this area I'm most likely to get away with my crime if I do it here And then you can just drop a marker on the map and be like yeah, that's where I'm gonna go Okay, so yeah, let's just pretend Ooh, there's a bit in the NEC over there um, Let's just go there and see if we can burger the house. Sorry, I blame that on the uh, on Google Maps being attached slow right now But that's where we've got five minutes right here uh, oh, no, let's see, let's see. Okay, uh, let's just say we're pretty new to the industry, we want to find a getaway driver. So let's just have a look what transports we got. Ooh, we've got a few people over there. Uh, we've got Jerry Haskell, 90 pounds. Um, ooh, Dave, great. Oh, Dave, ooh, Affit Shipper. We want to do a burglary, sounds like he's pretty experienced in that stuff. Um, so let's just order him. What we can do here is we can also pay him straight away. Um, just to show you that it works because it just shows a script and nothing actually works. I'm going to refresh my brain tree so you see that we already spent $580 today. Um, probably crushed a few places this morning. Um, For the record, I still have no idea why that works. <laughs> yeah, so you don't enter any credit card data, you don't any, enter any other pavement information, but you can pay people. It's like the world economy. <laughs> like, so basically you're meant to give the front side a client token to make the credit card form render. The form is a rendering, but it still lets you do payment. Brain tree, everyone. So, you got $580 already paid. Uh, let's just pay Dave for $100. And then if we go into Brain tree now, it will show us that we spent an extra $100. And then Dave is presumably going to pick up somewhere, drive us to the house. We can grab a few things, smash them in the back of his car. And then we just drive off and uh, enjoyed our first day's work and here we spent $680. And all we can say is that all went really well and we love it. <laughs>